All right, so here we are in Crystal Reports 2011 again. This time we're going to build upon the uh, text array that we used last time. Um, we're going to change this to a, or sorry, we're going to create a new uh, formula called using the select case um, logic. So I've created a new formula and haven't put anything in there yet except for the previous um, if then else statement using that, that text array. But I put these two four slashes on here to um, indicate that it's just a remark line and that it's, it'll skip that line completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in select and then I'm going to use this field and next line is case and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say case in I'm going to use this logic from the previous and I'm going to paste it in here so um, actually I'm not going to use this in and I'm going to remove the brackets so case the case designator will actually work for uh, text strings like this so I'm going to put a colon to say that's the end of that that case statement and the value will be geographic and I'm going to actually with a select case statement you need to put a default value in and a colon and other so anything else is going to be an other statement so we built this no errors found and so what this will do is basically the same thing the last one the last formula did that basically if it the um, description field contains any of these three it will designate the the result of this formula is geographic. So the reason why we want to do this is there were a couple of items in this column that had dates. So we have issue date and expiration date. So what if we wanted to change the value of the field to say just to, to designate date object. So I'm going to say case and then what was the value of that? issue date case issue date comma then expiration date actually that needs to be an underscore colon and then the next one is going to be date so let's check it for errors no errors found. Now let's save and close and let's scroll this all the way back up and go back to design and delete this off of here and use case. Align this with this. We went over this before. The bottoms and then that will align. And now preview. So all these these points available descriptions are still as other. And now gift cards are. But if you look at the date field, or these sorry these issue date and expiration dates, they are date fields. So now we used a select case statement to determine the value of a field based on uh, several different criteria. This is a lot simpler than doing a bunch of nested if-then-else statements. It's a lot easier to understand and a lot easier to read. So with that, we're going to go ahead and end.